Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to void a check in QuickBooks Desktop. I'll be using QuickBooks Premier, but the process is the same in QuickBooks Pro and QuickBooks Enterprise. So, uh, we'll talk about two types of checks. First, let's talk about how to void a regular check, like you would use to either pay a bill or to pay an expense uh, directly. And then we'll talk about how to void paychecks, which are a little bit more complicated. So let's look at regular checks first. So from our dashboard in QuickBooks Desktop, let's go to our check register and find the check that we want to void. Okay, so let's pick one that's already been printed here and we want a regular one. How about the accountant here? Okay, so I'm gonna make some notes so we can find this bill. So notice this is a bill payment. So this is not a, an expense that was paid uh, immediately with a check. This is one where we received a bill from the vendor, entered the bill, and then later paid the bill. So we are going to void the check that paid that bill. So this is to Oliveri for $563 on December 10th. Okay, so uh, to void it, first let's open it. So we can just double click anywhere on that line. And here we have the check to the accountants. Um, now notice there is another bill outstanding on 114, but this is paying the bill on 1215. So to void it, very simple. We just go up here to, instead of delete, we want to click the down arrow and we want to go to void. Okay, and it turned the amount to zero and we can now save and close. Okay, get a little warning here um, about voiding a check so this was used to pay a bill and so it's basically telling us that now the bill is going to be open again so let's hit save and there we go so in our check register we can see check 2345 has been voided and so there's zero amount okay so that's voiding the check but I'm going to assume when you void a check you're generally going to want to reissue the check as well and perhaps it was just like a stop payment but generally when you want to avoid a check, um, it got destroyed and so you're trying to reissue it. So let's reissue this check. So to do that I'm going to close my check register and I'm going to go to, to pay bills because this was a bill payment and here we should be able to see yes there's the bill from 1215 to the accountants for 563. So by voiding the check the bill is now open and needs to be paid again. So we marked it and now we just go through our normal bill payment process and so we can say um, pay selected bills okay and here is our payment summary we can print the checks okay you want to make sure that the first check number is correct uh, these other checks are things that have been entered in the system that have never been printed we just want to print our new check. It'll assign it this first check number, so obviously make sure that matches the printed checks you're sticking in your printer. And there you go. You'll hit OK, and you have reprinted the check. Okay, so that's how we uh, void and reissue a general check. The more difficult one are the uh, paychecks, employee paychecks. So somebody's dog gets their paycheck, and they need a new check. Not unusual. So let's go to our check register again. And this time, let's pick a paycheck. So just so you know, these are all fictional people. This is, uh, this is sample data from QuickBooks that helps uh, accountants evaluate their software. Um, so let's pick uh, Damon Levy. OK, so we'll open his paycheck by double clicking. OK, so the issue with paychecks is that you don't want to actually void the original entry in QuickBooks and the reason being is that it'll mess up your payroll reports right so this paycheck showing all these earnings and all these taxes being withheld these are being reflected in your fourth quarter 2025 
uh, payroll tax reports. And if you change that after those payroll tax reports are filed, or even after you've been making payroll tax deposits, it can mess things up and make things really complicated. Um, so we don't want to change this actual check. And that's what makes this a little bit more complicated. We're still in compliance with the law, right? We need to report uh, these payments on the date of the payday, whether they actually cashed the check or not. So we're not doing anything wrong. Um, we just need to reissue a new check, but keep the check on in the current uh, payroll tax report. Okay. So we can see that this was number 2346. So I need to note that. So after we make this change, we're going to want to go back and create a new check for 2346 and void it. Okay. But this check, we're not going to void. This check, instead, we are going to change the number on the check. And actually what we can do is we can go up here and we can do a print later. And so now it's set to print. We can go to print check. Actually, let's do print, uh, yeah, let's do print check. Okay. Do you want to record the changes? Yes. Okay. Um, make sure you know the correct check number that's going to go into your printer. Enter that check number there. Hit OK. And here we go. Once you hit print, it's going to print the check, and I will go ahead and print it, even though I don't have any actual checks in there. Okay, good. Now we can see that Damon's paycheck is still there. It has the same date. It just has the new check number of 2354. And so this hasn't affected our payroll tax reports, which is what we're really looking for. Okay, now we can save and close. We can see here it's 2354. But the problem is now we have no check 2346 anymore. And that's a problem because we always want to make sure we're keeping track of our blank checks, right? You don't want blank checks floating around somewhere. Um, so we need to see what happened to 2346 when we look at this. So the easiest thing to do is let's just go down here and on 1215, let's put in check 2346 um, and we'll, we can actually still say it was to Damon Levy. And Um, we are going to just, uh, I don't know, give it a miscellaneous expense account. And we're going to say voided 12, 15, uh, 20, 25 paycheck. Okay. And there we go. And so it has a zero amount. And I'm just going to head and go in and void it. Okay, well, it's having trouble. There we go. Okay. <laughs> having trouble figuring out which field to click to get it to open up the check window. So here we have the check. Uh, now I'm just going to void it. Wouldn't even really have to do this since we have a zero amount, but I may as well. Okay, there we go. So now we can save this. And close it. And now we have 2346. Okay, and it is a voided check. Okay, great. So that's how you void a payroll check. Um, you don't want to actually void the actual paycheck. That'll create havoc with your payroll tax report. So simply change the check number to the new number and then go back and uh, create a new check and void it with the old check number so that you keep track of that. Great. So that's how you void checks in QuickBooks Desktop. I hope you found that useful. You have a great day.